Welcome to Endgame Finance. Today we're talking Tesla. For me personally, I am up almost 130% on these calls I bought uh, just a few weeks ago. And I'm going to talk to you today if I'm going to sell, if I'm going to hold, or if even I'm going to buy a little bit more of Tesla calls. Two calls I do own, I am up around $15,000 on an $11,000 investment in over uh, around five to six weeks. So I've been pulling in around $2,600 per week just from these calls. However, I've not cashed out yet. So you should not count your profits until you have cashed out, until you have cash in your bank account. This can still potentially go bad. This can potentially still go down a lot. However, these are long-term dated call options. These are leaps. So I do have some time to uh, even just, even if they go down, I still have time to even just wait that out. But let's see today why specifically Tesla shares have been rising drastically. Very recently, Tesla just announced partnership with Ford and General Motors to for those automakers to use their supercharging network. So Tesla chargers will be used by General Motors, they'll be used by Ford, and most likely they have potential to become an industry-wide standard for other automakers to use them as well. So Tesla revenues will get a boost around $3 billion. Now, $3 billion is not going to significantly impact Tesla's bottom line since Tesla is doing around $80 billion in revenue trailing 12 months. However, you have to consider all these automakers are sending their customer to the Tesla charging network and it's very likely that Tesla will have their own products at these charging networks. Tesla will have their own restaurants, they might have their own uh, merchandise, they might have their own vending machines and all of these products will further just generate additional revenues for Tesla. So this can potentially be even a few more billion dollars. And more importantly, these will drastically raise Tesla awareness. If you're taking Tesla branded pizza home, everyone will see Tesla logo and Tesla will know, Tesla will continue to really not have a reason to pay for any advertising. Another huge catalyst, which really boosted the Tesla stock this week is the announcement that Tesla Model 3 <clears throat> may now be cheaper than Toyota's Camry in California with tax benefits. Federal credit will be $7,500 and I believe the state of California will actually match that. Model 3 that starts at $40,000 will fall to around $25,000 whereas Toyota's Camry will be $26,000 or higher. So Tesla is basically taking over the entire market in the state of California, which is one of the most profitable electric vehicle markets. And in addition to this announcement that Tesla Model 3 might be cheaper than uh, Toyota Camry, we also see that all variants of Model 3 now qualify for federal U.S. credit with other tax breaks as well. Now, every single Model 3 will qualify for the $7,500 credit. I believe only certain variants of Model 3 were eligible before. However, now it applies to every single model. Tesla is really trying to push out all these Model 3 units off their lots, off their inventory, because a new variant of Model 3 is coming pretty soon. Now, the new Model 3 variant will be slightly different in its body and look. However, the major thing that might impact Tesla into the future, that might propel them even for further is this new model will have new uh, self-driving hardware, it will have new self-driving chips, it will have new software, and even possibly it will be using artificial intelligence. If these new Model 3 variants are actually capable of full self-driving, then Tesla, has, Tesla will take off like a rocket because these new robo-taxis will have huge potential for the bottom line for Tesla. These will bring in additional billions and billions of dollars in revenues. If Tesla does actually uh, deploy their self-driving taxis within the next year or two, look out for Uber and Lyft to take a huge hit to their share price. And even potentially Google because of their Waymo rollout. If, if Google does not roll out their Waymo network pretty soon, they're actually a really huge risk from just losing it all to Tesla just because Tesla has this brand awareness. And Tesla will most likely have a program where they rent out, uh, where you can rent out your car to be a self-driving taxi during the night while you sleep. And all of these revenues will be shared with the company and the owner of the car. So car will essentially start to pay for itself over time. Now let's talk about the bottom line, what I will do in my Tesla call options. 
Now I will hold these for 11 months mostly because I will I want to hit the long-term capital gains mark. Also, like I was just saying, once their new Model 3 is unveiled, once it start goes it goes into production, it's a huge possibility that self-driving taxis will come on the road, and this will propel Tesla stock just tremendously. And this is all I, ex I expect all of this to unfold within the next year, within the next 11 months, which is my which is when I'm planning to roughly sell these. There is a possibility I might exercise these options. I'm looking to do to have around at least. 10x on these options just because of these reasons I said. So $11,000 turned into over $100,000 in over a year I think is a pretty good investment. It would require Tesla shares to be around $700 in that roughly in that range for me to cash out 100k. They will hit $1.5 trillion in market capitalization I think sometime next year because even without robo taxis Tesla's revenues will be over $100 billion within a year. Now, if you apply a 15x multiple, which you usually do in these uh, tech companies, you get around $1.5 trillion market capitalization and you get around $700 per share of Tesla. And that's where I see myself cashing out or possibly exercising these options. Lastly, guys, just want to tell you, in the end, when it comes to investing, it doesn't really matter if you're a Elon fanatic or if you dislike Musk for his controversies. What matters is that you actually make money. To me personally, uh, it's really relevant what a CEO of a company says. It really matters how their actions are impacting the price of the underlying, underlying securities that I personally own. So like Musk or dislike Musk, all I really care is if he's doing his job and pushing out the share price and having uh, and getting me gains. So that's it guys. I just want to talk to you, give you guys an update on the Tesla call options I own. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you want to discuss this a little bit further, if you have any questions. Guys, like, subscribe and share and always have a great day.